I started my life in South Africa, qualified as an architect, and then got an opportunity to come to America. Got here, but I couldn't convert my degree. I didn't have enough money, and I couldn't pass the board because I needed money for that too. So I immediately had to get a job because I could only get out of South Africa with $250. And I took a job delivering pizza, moved through the food business, became general manager, then got into gaming, was a manager of a casino, and then got the opportunity to uh, do art, as art sales. And I started art sales and became an art consultant for a pretty well-known uh, art gallery in New York City, AFA Galleries. And then I decided to go down to a smaller gallery and take it a little easier. That way I could spend a little more time with my kids. And while I was in the smaller gallery, Mr. Harrison and Mr. Zimmerin, his CEO, came into the gallery and I sold them a piece of art. And they apparently liked the way I did that. And they offered me a position at their pawn shop, the gold and silver pawn shop in Las Vegas, where they also film the famous Pawn Stars series. And I started with them as their art consultant. I took small roles if I could to step in and be on camera with them, but most of my, my sole goal there was to source the art, sell the art, and then COVID hit us and I got furloughed, we all did. My wife at the time and I decided, why don't we do what everybody's doing? Let's get an RV and travel. And we traveled through 22 states, but she was still teaching at the time. She would go into the back of the RV, set up the computer and get going. I would take the dogs for a walk or fly the drone. And then as soon as she's done, off we go again. So I looked at retiring because my wife at the time was making enough. And we had moved here from Florida at the time because she had taken a job with Grey Hearts Roosevelt. She said, they're looking for a TA. You're coming out of retirement because I was just going to deliver pizza again. And they said, well, what about a TA? I said, I don't know, I don't know if I want to teach kids. And uh, Mr. Philobom interviews me and he offers me the job. So I did, I took it, and it turned out to be quite amazing. I was pretty scared of all these kids, but now I'm looking at them going, wow, these are some amazing souls. And I had a great lead teacher at the time, and she taught me everything that I, I could know. And then when I became a lead teacher, I look out, and they're sitting there, these amazing scholars looking at me going, what next? What are you gonna do for me now? And it's like, wow, what a privilege. I have an amazing TA, Mrs. Harden. She is incredible. But what I do is not any different to any of the other teachers. They love their kids just as much as I do. But I just can't get over the privilege that I have. Mm -hmm.